Hey, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here in New York City this week, joined by Sean Charlesworth, the inventor on our 3D printer column extraordinaire. And we're here in your lab to check out some of your projects uh, for today's show and tell. We're going to talk about making lightsabers. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the, you got to make one to be a Jedi. That's the right? plan. It's, that's, or, that's your, or Sith. Yeah, yeah or, or, or Sith. Yeah. Um, now you have a lightsaber here, <clears throat> and this one, it's gorgeous. Your yeah. wife got it for you. Yes, all machine from aluminum uh, and uh, Luke's from uh, Jedi. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, all metal, has all sound effects or anything like that, but uh, uh, I found a way to make my own. Of course. Now, you could also duplicate this. We did a video where you can actually make a two-part mold, mm -hmm. and then you can actually just make a resin copy. But you, being a 3D printing enthusiast, want to 3D print your own. That's right. So there are files online to print a lightsaber. Yes. Hilt. I've, I've made reference to this I, uh, both on Twitter and I think in uh, uh, one of the Tesla mm -hmm. articles. But there's a fellow by the name of Valcro out there who's been doing some stuff for Ultimaker. And he uh, he did this lightsaber, which is just phenomenal. He's like a man after my own heart. He has a really good attention to detail, and he's good mechanically. So he he released two versions that are totally printable on a filament printer, which is super impressive. And uh, he has a four-piece version, which turns out pretty good, easy to print. But as we know, if you tried to print something like this, for example, that has these buttons sticking out of it, uh, it would print like this, and this would be great, but the buttons are sticking out, and they're, you know, they would be a little ugly. Right, right. So, um, and uh, so we basically, uh, he basically broke it out so that all the pieces print like they should for optimum print quality. So there's like 14 oh. pieces. So uh, I've not printed it on my filament printer yet, but I've had, I've been reviewing the Form 1. Yeah. And I was like, Hmm, what Even better, higher what better way to test the Form 1 than to print a lightsaber? <laughs> so this is the result so far. And I got to say, they, they have turned out really nice. They, uh, you know, some of the pieces need a little cleanup from when the support was. But if you look at the fine detail on, on a lot of these, it's just really well yeah, done. You can almost don't even see the lines. Yeah. The texture on them feels really great. And that's a byproduct of it being the resin, mm -hmm. you know, the, the cured resin yeah. uh, with that Precise, precise uh, thickness. Exactly. Um, so 14 pieces here. Uh, do you want to assemble it? it? Yeah, so he ba it basically just snaps together for a lot of it. Okay. Um, which is also part of why I, I loved his work so much. And they just kind of insert together. Uh, some will take a little glue, but then he did things like he put a little key oh, that you, you turn and twist it in there oh, and it just like locks together. Brilliant. Um, now this one, I, I got a little eager out of the printer and I snapped off the key, but there's a key that snaps this mm -hmm. in place, which is great. But then the part that just really impressed me was this, the final assembly is that this clamp uh -huh. Here, it's a little flexible. It has uh, has a it has a ridge inside. He made a, a, a accepting ring here, and it just clamps these two pieces together. Ah. And then he even did the little the calculator bubbles yeah. that I printed in clear, and they they slide in here like so. Wow! So if you wanted to put a light in there, you could also do that. Yeah, and I'm kind of trying to hold this all together with one hand. But then there is a clamping pin that you go goes in here, and you clamp it down. It holds the whole thing together. Uh, so it just is mechanically really nicely made. Awesome. And the detail that he put on it is great. Um, he did a really great uh, painting and weathering job on it. Mm -hmm. Looks phenomenal. I actually saw it at Maker Faire and it turns out he was there and I missed him. Uh, at the uh, Ultimaker booth. Yes, I wanted to talk because he also has the 40 piece Ducati motorcycle that he did. I which saw is saw that. It's mind blowing. Ooh. Really nice work and it was a really fun uh, uh, print for the Form 1, I think, to try out the detail. Yeah. And, uh, and even though you did this with a Form 1, you can do it with your traditional FDM printer. Absolutely. You know, if you have a MakerBot, if you have an Ultimaker, if you have a printer bot, um, and you can then weather it and paint that and yeah. make your own lightsaber, either, either in four pieces or in the 14 pieces. Yeah. I guess for the 14. One, nice. Four piece for the Padawan. 14 piece for exactly. the Master, Jedi exactly. Master. Yes. Or, of course, you can also get one on Etsy. Uh, Saber Forge? Yes, that was Saber Forge. Awesome. Yes. It lights up and everything. It does. It's very nice. Thank you for letting me hang out with you and geek out over 3D printing and lightsabers. Anytime, Norm. This has been so much fun. This is Sean Charlesworth. Check out his stuff on Tested. Every other week, writes a great 3D printing column. And check out more of our stuff on our Tested YouTube channel. Subscribe. The link below. I'm Norm, here in New York City. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.